Kyle from Sticks and Doodles. Okay, so we have been going on about multi-layered signs for a while now, and we decided to make one for our home. And so today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to assemble one of these multi-layered signs that we cut using our Thunder Nova 51 laser cutter. Let's go. Now to start off, you're gonna obviously need your 3D multi-layered piece. And so as you can see here, we've already cut it. We used a Thunder Nova 51 130 watt laser cutter. Uh, this uh, piece is 18 inches, and so it fit really well into the bed there and gave us lots of room to move it around. Um, we chose to use an eighth inch Baltic birch uh, the reason we chose that, it allows us to put the whole thing together without it getting too thick, and it stains really, really nicely. Now, what we did is we took some 3M467 double-sided adhesive, and we attached it to the backs of each layer, except the back layer. Now, 3M467 attaches to Baltic Birch really well in small bits, but in large bits like this, it does not attach really well. And so what we did was we actually gave a, a, a water-based clear coat to the back of each layer and then sanded it with 220 grit. And then when we attached the uh, adhesive, it stuck really well. And when we peeled it off, it came off really well. Now, unfortunately, it still rips a bit, as you can see in the video right now. And so I'm using a dental pick to help me peel it off. But this whole thing only took about 10 minutes, which when you think about how much these pieces typically sell for, isn't bad. The other thing worth noting is that um, I was able to get the 3M in 12 inch and in six inch rolls, which means there's a slight gap. So you'll see me using some adhesive for this. Uh, we use CEC brand gel glue. It uh, comes in bigger bottles than Gorilla Glue and it works just as well and it's priced a little bit cheaper. And in the comments, we do have an affiliate code for this. You can use it to get 10% off and I find that it's just an incredible product and I highly recommend using it. Again, uh, we chose to use oil-based stains for this piece, I know water-based stains are better for the environment. I've just always found oil-based stains easier to use. We pre-stain the boards prior to putting them together and then let the stain dry really well and then cut them. Now, when it comes down to this last phase, this, this attaching phase, um, first thing you gotta do is you gotta peel all the adhesive off. I do like to put it all together first to make sure it all looks good and it all is going to fit well together. Um, some This design's pretty symmetrical, but some of the other designs we've done haven't been so symmetrical, which creates a little bit of a challenge when you are you have it flipped over, then you gotta flip it the other way and you have glue or you have paint. Anyways, you're gonna take off the adhesive, and you're gonna stack it together, and it's gonna end up looking a lot like this. Um, this whole process took about 10 minutes to do, and it was totally worth it to use the 3M. My wife likes to just use glue, so if you're somebody that's really skilled with glue, you're not gonna have any squirt marks out, totally feel like it's okay to use glue, but for somebody like me who's not quite as adapt to it, I chose to use the 3M467 tape, but it's really the big thing when you're pricing these, it is about the time that goes into them. That's why we love our Thunder Laser. It, was able to cut each one of these layers in about eight minutes. And uh, when you put that all together, you have six, you have 42 minutes for the total cut, plus a little bit of movement and prep time. Um, take that, add in the time to assemble it, and you really end up with this beautiful piece. Now you don't always have to do the full six layers. We did two layers here, it looked really well. You can see I'm still clamping it just to be sure. But at the end of the day, it really is beautiful. And we've got it up on our wall at home. So this is the final result. Now, the cool thing about these pieces is there's really nothing like them. If you have a laser like the Thunder and you have the size to do something like this and you start showing these in your community, people are going to absolutely love them. There's just such a beauty to them. You can customize the colors in any way. And with the Nova and a large laser, uh, you can do them really quickly. And other than the price of wood right now, um, it's actually a relatively affordable piece considering the work that goes into it. So highly recommend adding these in and thanks for watching today.